everybody, welcome back to Attack the Beat Team, episode 25, this is Joe Cool Cat here. And sorry if everything looks somewhat as what I was trying to build this episode. It's partly done because I kept getting interrupted and this is my fifth attempt on this video. So what I was originally trying to do is I was making this walkway with my rowing keys and door and making this walkway out to my bedroom. I need to put in the glass and the bed and a few little other stuff, but other than that, this is, this is done. Uh, I did create statues of the four main people, Ronan, Teddy, me, and Storm, or Shadow, Knight, Joe, and then Storm. We all are, we all have a diamond sword to signify we can fight, what we can fight, and then we both have different, we all have different pieces of armor, uh, Shadow, can you chuck a claymore? It feels exactly where... Okay, I was hoping for a little bit better. What I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to clear out this area a bit. Whoa! Secret underground lake. I didn't know about. Okay, so let's see. another thing for me to fix. This has just been so many takes of this episode, it's getting annoying. Okay. Just a growling to growl. Okay, Storm. You do whatever you feel like is right. You seriously just fly into there? I don't eat barley. Okay, so this is good. What I'm doing is this over here. This is going to be my witch circle. And here, I just now I hit the arm off a little bit. So what's going to happen is, oh yeah, so here's the four pieces. Roman has the helmet. Teddy has the chest plate. I have the leg. Storm has the boots. Okay, the helmet is it signifies that he is the leader of Team Hexagon Films. There is his skin. Chest plate signifies that he defends all and he's a knight to everybody. There's his skin. My legs represent that uh, that when the tide when the tide turns very bad, I have the knowledge of when to flee. And then storms. Well, and the boots are signifying that uh, you never run away from a challenge. You always stay to fight. So here are the four of us. Everything looks awesome. Okay, so this is where my main witching is going to be. This is my 13 by 13 circle. I know it's a little bit like a platform, but I thought it would be a lot cooler to have it outside than inside the house where it takes up loads of space and loads of time. And also I got to blow, I got to blow stuff up. The reason why I was blowing this stuff up was because I need to make sure that I flattened out all the large chunks of land. You might think, why did you waste your time making grenades and bombs and all that stuff when you could have just gone and cleared it out probably in all that time? Yeah, but it wouldn't have had that explosive entrance. I don't want the explosive entrance. Okay, so... I have just had so much nether brick these days. I'm getting tired of nether brick as well. I know this will be an easy magnet for creepers and stuff to be below, but as long as they can't see me, I'm fine. Oh, she's my last stack. And it is finished. 
I don't even have torches. This is how many takes I've taken to like wrath torches. Let me see, I'm gonna put no I'm gonna put the stem in the shadow's base. So that's why he has a little something extra. And I'll just say it was just a little gift. I'm getting so much charcoal now these days. It is insane. Torches for days. Torches for days. Torches failure. That wasn't even enough torches. Okay, a few of these I can repurpose like this over here is stupid. There. Good enough for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go add this on the shadows base. And then after that. I think he also has like five stems as well. Let's say I don't know how how Shadow wants this. Okay, there's just one stem piece missing. He can live with that. Oh, uh, that'll soon be his base. Yeah, so this is the fortress. Not the best, but not too bad. I'm gonna be really mad if Storms comes, break down this door, and place it back, and just be like, yep, I got your keys. Take that one, bro. And I was like, no. Can Nightstands not give you it back when you break them? Is it okay if we surrender to each other? Probably gonna be a stupid, a stupid, stupid thing to do. But I fight till the end. I don't care if Storm's all saying like, "Oh, peace treaty, peace treaty, peace treaty. Give me a peace treaty." This is gonna be really long, I'm hoping so, because this is gonna be good. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so see, I wanna make this white chalk thing. Tear of the Goddess is Breath of the Goddess of the Lapis. Hint of Rebirth. Breath of the Goddess is. Birchwood. No, I said birch wood. Okay, sorry for that loud noise. This time setting, I really don't care at this minute. Oh, here's my bed. So I don't want to give up war easily. War ain't about just a quick game. This is war is always gonna come. If he says something like he rigged my house to explode.
Okay. Well, Storm just surrendered. Okay, that is... Okay, the only reason... The only reason why Storm probably surrendered is because he couldn't kill me with my scale armor. My amazingly impressive scale armor. And I bet he's flying overhead right now. Just waiting. What is it? <laughs> wow. Okay, so Teddy just joined the game. Okay, this is a giant turn of events. Okay, so that's what you whisper. Okay, so Storm is starting to freak me out a little bit. But if that is seriously- oh, whoa, 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 last tree. If you thought I moved the sapling from here, I guess I didn't. I guess I'm a really terrible sapling mover. Okay, this is a giant turn of events. Never saw this coming. Well, this is... Oh, I forgot they don't. Don't even. We can still have big wars. Okay, he he. That is making me a little bit creeped out right now, but I know. Okay, that makes me a little creeped out from time to time. I need to get the fume filter. Makes us friends in a sense until we start fighting. Oh, I'm out of iron. Really? Really? Oh jeez! Did you steal from me again? Shut off. Well, no dogs. I'm talking to Storm. <laughs> oh God! Please no.
Yeah, if I was ever his age, I would never be able allowed to do that. But then also if I was his age, which I kind of am. <laughs> what? Okay, this is creepy now. Oh, hey, look, give me follow fumes. these kids these days. <sighs> Never respect thy elders. I wonder if I eventually get a brazier and start doing all that witching. Oh my god. <laughs> How does he No. <laughs> Good. Thank you. That was getting no uh, creepy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm definitely not saying anything about this. If there was a test. I am not. If Anybody ever asks, I was never here. I was never in line when this happened. I have no knowledge of this ever happening. I'm sure there's a lot of gypsy, I don't even know. Ritual chalk is not that bad once you get more advanced. Let's see. Dandelion. Iterate that. So this way, he knows that I'm being serious. Yes! Golden chalk, baby! Woo! Exactly in the center. Forty-two. That does take up durability if you redo the glyph. Wow, that stinks. Okay, there we go. There's some extra glyphs out there. Just so I have some extra stuff around. Okay, I got my gold chalk in there. Let's see, what's the next thing I want to do? I want to start cursing a little bit. Okay. 
I'm gonna need two diamonds. That is a fail. I am just labeling that a fail for you, Storm. So they successfully requested the two diamonds. I'm still waiting. Hello. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to curl up by the fireplace. Okay, that is creepy timing. How oh, that just happened at the same time that did. Okay. So. I think this giant thing that was supposedly going to be a war has now officially ended before it really even started. Which I don't understand, but meh. See, I, I, I can't elaborate on my channels. Yeah, my channels. Spinning wheel can wait, let's see. Two gold, four nuggets. Let's see, I want to try to get to the dream world. Brew of love. Is that in the brew of sleeping? Let's see, I got everything for the brew of sleeping. Minus the milk. I need the brew of love, which... I got all this. I see my kettle start activating. Yeah, I... Oh, the cocoa. Nope. Never mind. I got problems in paradise. You'd understand that if you're a Chimney Swift fan. But I said to please. Thank you. Which I am recommending if you are not to look at Chimney Swift's channel. He is an amazing YouTuber. I get my chest this way. Okay, so, I'm just going to turn it off for a second and then turn it back on. I wonder, has he ever found out about the one beeper over here? Something tells me yes. Yep, he did. He mined out right over there. Probably watched my video and saw that. Hmm. Why do you keep a bucket of this stuff for? Hmm. Oh, there's a sorry alarm.
I'm getting. Okay, there we go. Meh. TP. Okay, I just need his head. I really need it. I'm just gonna almost one shot him. So I need to punch him once, and then strike him with the sword. Whoa! He's definitely Richard. What's this? I have never noticed this. this thing. Oh, your storm is working on something bad. Like, what is this thing? It's like a demon thing. Why does he want me not to follow him? So they don't have slash advantage. Oh, slash V, okay. This thing is creepy. Please don't fall from where he went. I don't know, this is seeming a little suspicious. Never told me. Wrong way. Okay, so I know it's. Wait, how do I even do it? Okay, oh, I. Wow, that was dumb. You guys also going on the wall. I'm gonna have a special wall. Oh good, I need to somewhat give him a coke. I think when they say pinch poke, you owe me a coke, I think they're talking about a drug. Probably. Time set one. Josh, dang it! 
This has been 31 minutes. I think this is going to wrap up this up. Right here. Okay. So that's been updated. I see this is at 858 at 2. How is this? 2145 at 5. Okay, that is amazing. There's his hat on my fireplace. Technically, that's on my fireplace. I'm going to end this episode off right here. This very creepyish episode. Right here. Right now. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. And hopefully we get to find out what Storm's been secretly hiding. Peace. If I can find a dang.